This is a more than just podcast production. Welcome to Spotcast. This is the special Spotcast or Spock, Spocky Award. <laughs> Want to try that again? Yeah, no, I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> um, and uh, this is episode, well, it would be season six, episode 38. Uh, I just want to recap the uh, Spocky Awards. I mean, we've, we've it's been out there You're since January. You're not even going to introduce us? No? No love? Oh, no? yeah. Well, yeah, my name's Timothy. I'm Toronto, Ontario, and I'm joined by Jonathan Kuline in Mississauga, Ontario. Hello there, kids. <laughs> and we have Jaime Lucas Jr. in Seattle, Washington. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to want to go through the results of the... Uh, of the Spockies. We covered a couple of weeks ago how we got around to deciding what was going to be in the ballots. And I did get feedback from one person today saying, how come some of them had other and some of them didn't? And and I said, oh, that was my mistake when I was putting together this list. You know, we, were, we what we did is we had a bunch of, uh, we had too many choices in some cases and not enough in others. So what we decided, if you didn't catch that last episode, which would be two episodes ago, uh, is, we won't judge, um, is, uh, well, we are going to judge the Spockies, but we wouldn't judge you for not, you know what I mean? Um, the, we decided that we would have like the top three and then each one of us would save uh, a choice. And so that we'd have at least a, at least a, a selection of six or seven per per category. Right. So uh, if you guys are ready, we can go through. Uh, um, do you want me to share my screen or what do you want to do? Uh, I'll share my screen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, so what happened was I put I put we put the uh, the Spockies out there and people went in and voted some people voted in i mean the earliest vote we had was friend of the show dave put his dave price he put his stuff in on the 10th of january which is when we first published this and jaime did his on the 18th i don't know if jaime's opinion has changed since then but um and then um sometime in march i did mine and then i just published a couple of days ago saying hey still got some time to to put some some votes in and a few people added some stuff over the last couple of days. And then of course I posted again today saying, you know, Hey, a few more hours left to do this. And some jerk <laughs> went in and put in 30,000 entrants. So we normally do this on Google forms and it, and it's nice because it, it automatically does pie charts for you. So I had like an animal had to go into a spreadsheet program and make my own pie charts to count cal- to calculate the winner. So before I do that, I'm just going to go share my screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, so here we are. So we'll start off with the uh, the best movie. I don't know if I should do it or you should do it or how do you want to do this? Um, we do. do Why don't we take turns? You can start and then we'll we'll just rotate through. Okay, I'll do the best movie of. Uh, I, I'm not going to go through who the cat, who the people were, but I'm going to talk about who who actually won. So, Guardians and Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy, far and away with thirty. Well, not far and away, but ahead with thirty two percent of the votes, and there was a split between the creator and Barbie for the rest of the the um, choices, and then Spider Man Across the Spider Verse came in at number, I guess number three. So you have a two way well, tie for yeah, number fourth, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Somebody voted for Godzilla minus one. That's all I got to say, right? I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave that there. And somebody voted for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem too. I'm, yeah. I'm a, like, I mean, I thought Guardians was good, but I'm a little surprised. I thought uh, people would be higher on the across the Spider Verse. I, I am a little surprised that one finished quite as low as it yeah. did. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, if you look at if you look at the results here, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy came out of the gate fast, right? Like first, you know, six votes, seven, eight votes were. Nine votes were like for the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? So and it might have been fresh in people's minds at the time, right? Yeah, we did that, right? So, do you want to take the uh, the best TV show? Yeah, our best TV show uh, again was was close. It was it was actually a close one. Uh, Last of Us, the Last of Us won uh, the uh, Spocky Award for best TV show for 2023, uh, but it just it edged out Star Trek: Strange New Worlds, a, a very strong showing. And it's funny because uh, we're a Star Trek po- podcast ostensibly. We do talk about a lot of other things, and we are fans of lots of other things. Um, this was the first time where I kind of felt like 
a Star Trek season, and it's hard to say because I've enjoyed a lot of the Trek that we've we've covered over the past six years. This was the first time where I was like, yeah, that was as good as anything else on TV last year. Mm-hmm. Um, that Strange New World season that got my vote, and um, yeah, it's it's interesting to see that it was that high. So yeah, first place was Last of Us, second was uh, it was Strange New Worlds, and then a distant uh, third was uh, Ahsoka. So. Um, mm-hmm. and, and, but again, a great year for, for sci-fi and fantasy television. All right, Jaime, you can take the best Star Trek. Best Star Trek is just a category in and of itself. It looks like uh, at 55%, you have Star Trek Strange New Worlds, a uh, tie for second place between Lower Decks and Picard. Yep. And, yeah, but 55%, that's more than half, right? So More than half, yeah. yeah. You, could, you could add up the two... Uh, runner-ups and you would still have a, a pretty healthy lead you could add up all the other ones and you'd still be in the lead i mean like it'd be a much closer lead though right like you know you, you'd be sweating but if you're 55 percent and get 30 percent, you're like I'm, I'm feeling pretty good i'm, I'm going to bed early you know <laughs> <laughs> well in canada that's enough for strange new worlds to separate from the rest of the country so yep. right Oh, back to me. Yeah. Back to me. Best actor in movies. This was this was the lean category yeah. where we didn't have enough didn't have enough people. Um, I was actually surprised to see how this one turned out, but mm-hmm. um, Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon uh, got forty seven percent of the vote, and but you know chasing him down the road there was thirty seven percent for Ryan Gosling in Barbie. I'm just going to look at the, the results here to see if. It was something to do with his performance at the oscars yeah if you look at the votes it's most it's you know it's heavy with bradley cooper in the early running and then uh come bringing up the rear is is ryan gosling yeah so, wouldn't be surprised if that's a recency thing right yeah it's possible although you know barbie the film came out quite a, quite a while ago yeah but i mean he he like i think the he was one of the better performances at the oscars this year so yep oh i mean cool. they stole the show that, that performance yeah. was hilarious yeah 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 yeah. Well, um, did, I don't know if you noticed, but did you notice that the 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 men who were backing him up? No, yeah, it was were, Judy, Judy Gatwa for his Doctor Who. There was yeah, no, uh, but the outfits they were wearing were the same tuxedos that they wore in Gentlemen's Preferred Blondes, where Madeline or um, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn I know I, I pointed that out to my wife when we were watching it. She she didn't get the reference, which I, I yeah. imagine anybody over, under a certain age probably uh, might not have, but everyone over a certain age did. That ended up being a meme on, on the interwebs. Yep. So over to you for Best Actor TV. Yeah, Best Actor TV. So this one was a bit of a runaway as well. We uh, we got uh, Pedro Pascal himself. Uh, Zaddy got uh, 39% of the vote and uh, and ran away with uh, Best Actor TV. And again, good category for this one. Um, our second place uh, was, again, a, f- a fair bit uh, behind was... Uh, David Tennant as Doctor Who. Um, again, I was a little surprised by that one, but uh, but hey, yeah, he got one vote. You mean? Or? <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, it was it was it was definitely uh, Pedro Pascal's uh, category. Um, sorry, it was Anson Mount. I guess I'm yeah, looking at the colors. Place. The colors are a little bit uh, a little hard to read here, but Anson Mount. Sorry, was actually second, and then uh, Tom Hiddleston uh, after that. Sorry, David. You can see the numbers David in the Tennant chart. Right only got one, but um, yeah, no, it's the the. The red and the pink on my screen here are a little hard to parse. Okay. So, mm. mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, it, it was uh, it was definitely a, a runaway win for uh, Pedro Pascal, which is not surprising. I mean, the man won the uh, the best uh, actor award at the uh, Emmy Awards recently for that. So, uh, we're okay. on the right track. And if you combine with Nick Offerman, um, yeah, it ends up yeah. as The Last of Us pulling in fifty percent of the vote. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 So best actress, Jaime? Best actress movies. Uh, looks like Margot Robbie from Barbie. Uh, but it's really tight because your your number two, uh, actually your two runners up are a mere five percentage points behind. So you end up with Haley Steinfeld from uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Iman Volani from the Marvels. So your your vote matters, people. You could have you could have flipped. You know how to book flights and hotels. All you're missing is a tool to plan the travel experiences you'll have once you arrive. That's why you need Viator. Book guided tours, activities, excursions, and more in one place to make your trip truly unforgettable. 
Viator has over 300,000 travel experiences to choose from. Everything from simple tours to extreme adventures and all the niche, interesting stuff in between. So you can plan something that everyone you're traveling with will enjoy. Real traveler reviews give the inside scoop from people who've already been on the experiences you're considering. So you can plan with confidence. Free cancellation helps you plan for the unexpected. And 24-7 customer support means you can travel worry-free. Download the Viator app now and use code Viator10 for 10% off your first booking in the app. Find travel experiences for you. Do more with Viator. Support for this podcast and the following message come from Coriant. Coriant provides wealth management services centered around you. They focus on exceeding your expectations and simplifying your life. Coriant has been helping high achievers just like you enjoy their lives more fully, preserve their wealth, and provide for the people, causes, and communities they care about. As one of the largest integrated fee-only registered investment advisors in the U.S., Coriant has deeply experienced teams in 23 strategic locations. Coriant has extensive knowledge spanning the full spectrum of plan investing, lending, and money management disciplines. Leverage Coriant's exclusive network of experts to craft custom solutions designed to help you reach your financial goals, no matter how complex they may be. Real wealth requires real solutions. For more information, connect with a wealth advisor today at Coriant.com. That's C-O-R-I-E-N-T.com. Coriant.com. Looks like you need a vacation. Enter the five-hour energy, where will the tide take you sweepstakes? You could win a $10,000 dream beach vacation. Imagine jet setting off to a tropical paradise, having fun in the sun, or diving at a gorgeous reef. It's up to you. No purchase necessary. Go to 5hetide.com for official rules and to enter. That's 5hetide.com. Enter today. Ends June 30th, 2024. This one it was really close. Yep. 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 And then we have Best Doctors TV, which is me, um, and tied right down the middle between Bella Ramsey for Last of Us and Tawny Newsom for Star Trek and Lower Decks. Yeah, that's a great one. I'm glad she got the recognition. I'm glad people felt uh, felt the performance in that. Uh, obviously, that's a a voice rep- uh, voice performance, but uh, but she was mm-hmm. she was great last season. She really was. Well, she was also in. The, they also did a live action episode, didn't they? They did. They well, but that. Yeah. I mean, that was a that was a Strange New Worlds episode, not a right, right. And then the uh, next one, so yeah. tied for second slash third is um, looks like uh, Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka and Rebecca Ferguson. Rebecca Ferguson yeah. for Silo. Yeah, yeah. Again, killer category. So many incredible performances last year. Most anticipated movie. Most anticipated movie of the year. Again, a tie. Uh, we had a two-part tie. Dune Part 2, which obviously has come and gone, but uh, I'm glad that one definitely still got its its play, because I think a lot of people were looking forward to that, myself included. And Deadpool 3, uh, which is now, of course, Deadpool and Wolverine. But uh, yeah, that those two kind of destroyed the category they really kind of ran away with uh, with that one compared to uh, to all the other comers. And somebody is living under a rock because <laughs> they voted for uh, Madam, Madam Webb. Webb. No, yeah. I'm 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 defending this person, right? Like I don't know, I don't know what <laughs> was going on months ago. You never know. I don't know what was going on there, but like, kudos to you for sticking to your guns. <laughs> because even Dakota Johnson herself is like backing away, but like, man, it paid the bills. Uh, I, I I actually do kind of want to watch it now. Like, you know, I want to see. Does it circle around, you know, from from you know bad to to so bad it's good? Uh, yeah, that, well, I mean, that could be that could be the thing, right? So, yeah, that's an interest, interesting. It's an interesting choice, right? To to, yeah. to choose that one. I, well, but then again, maybe that was they were anticipating. This is early in March when they made that vote. So, yeah, you, you don't know how it's going to turn out. It's all about anticipation, and uh, yeah, you know, the the hype was there for Madam Web. You know, it was like, oh, interesting. Could be something there. And it, it perhaps didn't yep. pull, pull together. So who's up now? Me? Is it you, uh, you it's Jaime for most anticipated TV show. This is a real tough one. Uh, it, it's actually a runaway winner. Um, this is our, our moonlight moment. Um, so Star Wars, the Acolyte has, oh, has wait, the highest one. Happened? There are accidentally two entries. I'm going to guess uh, either either that's 
No, you know what? Start. That's only, I think it's only four votes for the Acolyte. So, so you think it's not twice? Just, yeah, no, it just be, could be a, well because I had to do these by hand. It's copy oh, was it Skeleton or, Crew? Was one was one supposed to be Skeleton Crew? No, 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 no. It's just it's just that I I put the row in there twice. So there's uh, this, all right. Well, be, we're should, we're going backstage to recalculate let's, let's, this let's one. Re, let's recalc. Let's do a recount and do live live on live on the show recount. Let me just delete this row. Uh, delete row. Okay, I okay, thought maybe the go. original. There's, there's your result. Oh, I thought maybe the original better. form like accidentally had it in there twice. You know, like no, 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 no. Okay, gotcha. I had to delete thirty thousand entries. So <laughs> no, I don't blame you. But I was like, I don't remember. There were thirty thousand form... votes for Barbie as best movie. Just you know, just it was whatever the first choice was in each category. That was what thirty thousand entries had done. So, I bet they, they didn't realize they're dealing with an IT person who can ex- who can clean data. But that that's that's their their fault. For anyway. So there you go. They, you got it. Definitely is the acolyte by me. Yeah, yeah. The most anticipated show, um, and the, the the trailer probably will help that as people want to go anticipate more. Uh, really close would have been uh, the new season of Doctor Who coming out, um, and mm-hmm. Three Body Problem, which is out now but was anticipated at the time, which we uh, put this out. Yeah, and I mean, I, like, but what I think my point was, like, like it's like it's the vote is really um, spread there. Like, there's no clear. I wouldn't say there's a clear winner with you know only that twenty five percent of the vote, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, if you go it seems down, like it's a good year. If you go down the I mean, list, let's look at the spread here. Look at the spread here. Yeah, so it's kind of like the votes are all over. So most of the votes from like, uh, from yeah. So these are these are all like all the way to fourteen is is March, right? So. Like these first batch would have been, yeah. Early yeah so on. the March March mm-hmm. votes would be like the early votes, and then the which one? Which one am I highlighting here? I want to highlight the row. Damn you! There you go. Okay. Um. So these these last votes here are like Fallout, Three Body Problem, Acolyte, X Men ninety seven, The Boys. Somebody somebody must have wrote in The Boys. I don't think we had that one in there. And then yeah. So these these votes here are are a recency thing, right? Yep. Yeah, but there's a good spread. If you go to the the full list that everybody uh, voted, uh, everything that got a vote. Um, I mean, this is an interesting spread, right? So you've got things like you know Star Wars: The Acolyte. You have mm-hmm. you know two different Star Trek series of Lower Decks and Prodigy. You've got something that's very different in The Boys: uh, Rings of Power from Lord of the Rings. Doctor Who's very different. The Agatha Darkhold Diaries, Avatar: The Last Airbender, X Men '97, Fallout. Yeah, like this is a uh, this this. You all can't see this, but this rainbow wheel, this this like <laughs> skinny beach ball on Mac OS uh, thing, kind of tells me that like we're in a really good era now, where there's a mm-hmm. bunch of choices for fans of this kind of thing. Yeah. Yep. And finally, we have the most anticipated, this last one, right? Yeah, most yep. anticipated Star Trek property, and that would be, looks like, at 44%, Star Trek Second 31. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Interesting then, that uh, we just, we obviously just started with Star Trek Discovery, where season five is off to the races. Um, mm-hmm. Didn't didn't get a lot of love. Didn't, didn't get a lot of love. Now, I think we can agree that the last season was not exactly a, out of the park home run, so I can understand. But um, yeah, I think I'll be curious to see if this, uh, this season can salvage the reputation a little bit. Yeah, number two um, most anticipated is, of course, the Lower Deck season five. So people really like the humor of Star Trek not taking itself too seriously, right? Yeah, and I think also the Section 31 is just because it's something different, right? Like, I think, obviously, the Zhao yeah. character is great. And, you know, I mean, what can you say about her? She's amazing. But um, I think that one's a particularly interesting one just because it's something else. Yeah, that's a good point. The The rest are, you know, further seasons of existing things. So you kind of you kind of know what you're getting into in a season five, a season five or a season two. Yeah. Right. OK, well, I got to wrap it up because I got to go put dogs to bed and stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll call it. That's it for another year of Spockies. Uh, we'll come back to this later. Thanks to everyone for voting. Yeah, thanks for voting. And uh, so, Jonathan, people want to get in touch with you, where they find you? You can always find me on uh, X and on Instagram as at JPK News or on on YouTube as YouTube.com slash at JPK. And hi, me. People want to get in touch with you, where they find you? I'm on Twitter as at Dev of the Hair. All right. My name is Tim Mitra, T-I-M-M-I-T-R-A on the Twitter machine, the Mastodon machine. Duh. 
Instagram machine, and all the other machines. So until next time, we'll see you in the future. Bye. 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 You've been listening to the Spotcast Podcast. This is John Luke Picard. Shut up, Wesley. Sorry, say again. Just the tag. Gotcha. If you want to find out more about the podcast or see the episode show notes, visit the Spotcast website at spotcast.com. You can get in touch with us on the website or follow us on Twitter at Spotcast. If you have feedback or questions, send us a tweet with the hashtag AskSpotcast. If you like the show, please consider recommending us to a friend, writing a review on iTunes, or pledging any amount at patreon.com slash spotcast. You can find details on how to help us on our website, spotcast.com slash sponsor us. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the future. Great to see you guys, or hear you anyways, and uh, yeah. glad we're back. Likewise, see you on the 11th. Sounds good. Right. Ciao. All right, everybody. Bye. 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 You know how to book flights and hotels. All you're missing is a tool to plan the travel experiences you'll have once you arrive. That's why you need Viator. Book guided tours, excursions, and more in one place. There are over 300,000 travel experiences to choose from, so you can find something for everyone. And Viator offers free cancellation and 24-7 customer support for worry-free travel. Download the Viator app now and use code Viator10 for 10% off your first booking in the app. Find travel experiences for you. Do more with Viator. Swimsuit? Check. Sunscreen? Check. Phone charger? Check. Don't forget to pack the 5-Hour Energy. It fits great in a pocket or carry-on, and the alert feeling will help you arrive ready for anything. Now get 20% off when you use code 5HETRAVEL at 5HourEnergy.com. Expires April 30th. One-time use only. Not valid with other discounts. Remember, visit 5HourEnergy.com and use code 5HETRAVEL to save 20%.